Svetla Ištvenko and this is uh, not going to be my presentation but the presentation of uh, Esther Lazar who is supposed to um, uh, be the, the panel leader of the Hungarian panel but uh, she can't be here today because of other kind of curatorial practices in Hungary so uh, she sent me her presentation which is, uh, uh, in my opinion, a very important one because it's uh, about the Hungarian cultural political background. So um, she told me in November that it's going to be a short introduction. <laughs> but it's a little bit longer than short, but it's, uh, it's a very important one. And all of us, all of the galleries who's participating will reflect on this presentation. So I will start the text. The title is Occupying Contemporary Art Territories. Um, instead of giving an overview of recent structure and network of the institutes dedicated to contemporary art in Hungary, my introduction will rather follow a loose chronology of the last few years, focusing on certain dates and facts which have resulted in a necessary remapping of art institutes operated by the state. Changes in the, their operation, profile, in their goals, and complete turnover of their international and local networks. My aim with this intro, which I'm afraid will paint a rather dark image of the recent Hungarian contemporary art situation, is definitely not to bury the Hungarian contemporary art institutional system as such. Luckily, the art field does not depend 100% on the state. Although, mutual collaboration would be useful. So, alternative strategies are welcome. I would like to emphasize the challenging situation art professionals and practitioners should face with in order to present, deal with, talk about, make, organize contemporary art in Hungary. Uh, in media stress, the chronology it started uh, on the 11th of April 2010. Elections in Hungary in 2010 resulted a complete change from the previous political situation. The right-wing conservative coalition, the Fidesz and the KDNP, which is the Christian, Christian Democratic Party, uh, did win the two-third majority and obtained almost 70% of the parliamentary seats. This fact basically means that they get enough support for any bills represented by the governing party to assure their passage. In the, the July of 2011, the Hungarian parliament passed the CIX law of 2011 on the establishment of Hungarian Academy of the Arts, which is the MMA, as a public body. MMA was originally founded as a private association in 1992. I should add here that the Hungarian Academy of Arts is not equal with the, the Hungarian University of Fine Arts. Uh, according to the law on MMA, legal regulation is justified by the expectation that the representatives of culture, especially of the arts, should play an increasingly important role in the forming of society and with their active role should contribute to the effective vindication of cultural interests. The protection of cultural values, the preservation, transmission and presentation of the artistic traditions of the nation, the situation, stimulation of creating new works of art, the re reinforcement of the communal conditions of high level creative work and, and the increased need for artistic cooperation have become such great tasks that require the establishment of public body, similar in its role and significance to the Hungarian Academy of Science. Without going into deep analysis of this strong statement above, I would raise a few questions and leave them open. Why should we protect our cultural values and against whom? What does that actually mean, artistic tradition of the nation? In the autumn of 2012, the government announced, announced plans to provide the academy, this is the MMA, with a budget of two and a half billion forints, which is approximately 800 million euros. 
uh, with the, uh, they get the ownership of the Mücsarnok, the Kunsthalle, the country's most prominent art venue, with effect from 1st of January of 2013. To compare that incredible amount, the four biggest museums in Hungary, which are the Ludwig Museum, the National Gallery, the Applied Art Museum and the Kunsthalle, spent this amount together in total for operational cost in 2013. And this provided amount to the Academy has been raised by the Cultural Ministry since 2013. MMA did not only put its hands into institutions like Mücsarnok and Vigado and the, the recent gift as a, re a representative uh, palace at the Andrási Avenue for administrative purposes, but influences the decisions of the NKA, which is our National Cultural Fund. Uh, and this is the main source of uh, art found, founding in Hungary. Um, this is because the, the MMA is uh, delegating members to the National Culture, Cultural Fund. The chronology could be expanded towards various unprofessional and improvident decisions related to the media democracy, education, internet text, but let's stay in the circles of contemporary art which indeed has a few surprises in the store of, store of us. Um, in the December of 2012, against the empowerment of the MMA, the grassroots organization Free Artists was formed, whose first action and intrusion into the first annual meeting of the MMA members sparked the civic movement in the otherwise apolitical sphere of visual arts in Hungary. The group protested, protested against conservative takeover of the MMA, against the situation in which there is no dialogue, against the routine whereby officials in charge of important institutions are replaced by commissars, and against the exclusionary practice of MMA. Free artists also demand autonomy. They started the NAMMA blog, the name of it, which means no to MMA, or saying no to MMA. These were the actions. Um, further artistic protests directed against MMA takeover include the curatorial project, Stand Out Every Week, that invited an artist to make an intervention in front of the Budapest Kunsthalle. It was in 2013 and every week there was one happening with one contemporary artist. Um, on the picture you can see a Masha Bansul gesture in a chalk. Uh, the text is Don't let time wash it away, bearing witness to the imminent street facing contemporary Hungarian art. <clears throat> On the 8th of October 2013, uh, there was a symbolic funeral ceremony of the Budapest Kunsthalle by the Hungarian artists and curators uh, because the contemporary art is nearly dead in Hungary. <clears throat> On the summer of 2014, the Ludwig Museum, which is the other most important contemporary art institute at Budapest, after a very successful internationally recognized five-year period under the directorship of Barnabas Benci, the ministry did not extend his contract, but a new person was appointed as a director, called Julia Fabeni, who was supported by the right wing. Uh, more than 30 artists, art professionals, sympathizers occupy the Ludwig Museum to demand complete transparency in the selection process for a new director and the institution's autonomy from right-wing ruling party Fidesz. The protesters enter the museum with signs saying Forum Collaboration for Contemporary Art, Free Ludwig and Professional Coordination. They hold forums about the uh, recent changes in Hungarian visual arts. Um, and this was all, all the happenings was in the staircase. While the whole scenario is widely familiar in the context of university protest in Hungary, the occupation of a public cultural institution in Hungary was unprecedented. 
The, wave, the waves of protest stepped out of the border of Hungary and huge collection of supporting statements signed by internationally recognized art professionals were attached to the actions, but these did not change anything at all. On the 14th of March in 2014, uh, that was the occasion of the grand reopening of the renovated Pesti Vigado Palace, which became the MMA headquarter. A group of civil citizens protested with an intervention against the handover of Vigado to the MMA. The intervention was organized by some members of the group Free Artists and the university students, professors, artists and activists joined to the action. Um, on, in this, in uh, September 2014, Gyert Szegő, an architect, prestigious member of the MMA, was appointed director of Richardnak, the Kunsthalle. Mr. Szegő has been fulfilling his boss, Mr. Gyert Fekete, the head of MMA's wish. Instead of following the pseudo-liberal contemporary art, Pseudo-liberal uh, is used by Mr. Fekete to characterize the Western type, contemporary, Western type contemporary art. He has gone back to the roots. To follow the Salon style, the traditional exhibition form of the French Academy from the 18th, 19th century has become the concept of uh, Kunsthalle from 2014. For example, the first National Architecture Salon and the first uh, um, Fine Arts Salon is coming in April. The Hungarian art scene has got the visibility, but primarily not because of exhibitions, new museums opening, or as a possible venue of the next Manifesto Documenta, but rather because, uh, because of the recent political, cultural situation and this effect into the contemporary art in Hungary. Three artists were invited to take part in exhibitions, stand out every big project, among others was shortlisted for ICO Prize in Hungary, uh, Eflux, Art Margins, the Idea magazine from Romania and other prominent media has reported about the recent climate in Hungary. But unfortunately, these political changes mentioned above do not seem to be temporary. Since they are supported by laws and the executors are faithful soldiers of the power. So, what kind of possibility strategies we should follow? The reason why I selected the following six institutes uh, for the curator meeting program is not difficult to describe. The institutions are Labor, Studio of Young Artists Association, Chimera Project, Aurora, and Approach Association. So the reasons. The question of independency has been constantly raised up and reflected by their members, artists and curators. They are all active in creating discursive platforms and not all the time through its exhibitions. For example, Aurora is certainly not considered as a contemporary art institute, rather a com community center which is a meeting point for non-profit grassroots initi initiatives and political activism and also, also creates a platform for different social and cultural fields. But uh, its role in formulating the contemporary art culture in Hungary is important. Labor, Studio and Chimera have a strong focus on the young and middle generation and it is interesting how they navigate and mediate between state institutions and the for-profit sector and how they use their network. The combination of all these methods are survival strategies. Hungary is extremely centralized, not only in political, but also in geographical sense. Therefore, to invite the approach association and to be part of the Hungarian section was very important for me because uh, they are based in Page. Some images. Um. Yes. Um, the way how we define art, contemporary art, and its institutes is based upon what role we think they should fulfill. And before I pass the floor to them, 
I'm in the galleries, I would like to give you another example of possible definition. This is the upcoming of Biennale, which could be considered as a rehearsal of being independent and working in collaboration. The Off Biennale Budapest will be between uh, the 24th of April and uh, the end of May in 2015. Off Biennale Budapest is a series of exhibitions and art events in and beyond the city of Budapest. It, uh, its concept is different from traditional biennials as we know them. Not affiliated with an, any institution, it is a voluntary collaborative initiative of artists, group, uh, groups of artists, curators, art managers, gallerists and collectors. OFF proclaims the importance of independent thinking and action, breaking away from cliches and habitual routines. The OFF aims are, um, among the others, uh, to acquaint the broadest possible public with the var variety, energy and potential of contemporary art for collaborative thinking and joint action. To demonstrate that a collaborative effort and an international program of this magnitude is possible to pull together via self-organization. To encourage and strengthen the independent players in this field, and to create, through a joint effort, the basis for a sustainable art scene. Furthermore, to offer an alternative to the network of government-funded <coughs> art institutions. Please uh, visit the website uh, for more uh, information. And uh, hopefully uh, we will meet there, or it would be great to meet there. And thank you for your attention. And uh, I will pass the microphone to Aaron Fenvesi, the representative of Truffle.